Fellow Spartans, welcome back to another part of the last Roman campaign on Total War Attila as a Roman expedition. So, let's see what we can do today. But we have all but destroyed the Vandalic Kingdom. We pushed them out of their last remaining settlement at Tibasar there. So the only thing they have left is a small fleet in the Mediterranean. So hopefully they shall be completely destroyed in this part today. I'm sure they will be. And I'm pretty happy so far with the pace of this campaign. It's been going along relatively nicely. So let's hope you know we can continue that as we push back eastward. And our first target will be the Sardinians. We need to take them down at Hippo Diritius there and destroy those two relatively large armies. But the thing is, one of their armies contains their faction king. So if we can destroy him, that will be a huge dent to the Sardinians. So get rid of those two armies there. And then I think after that, I'm not too sure if we go straight for Sicily and start our war with the Ostrogothic Kingdom. Because I was thinking about this, if we launch an attack against the Sardinians here, for about two turns, both our armies will be in the uh, in the Mediterranean to, to, to go across to get over there. And at that point, we will lose considerable funds because obviously they're not encamping and they're not making any money for us. And that's not a wise thing to be doing really at this stage we could probably get across to Sicily in one turn so the damage of the, or the loss of income won't be as bad and then we can encamp here possibly raid their lands maybe I don't know if that would be more beneficial just for a couple of turns build up our army if needs be over here but at the same time we won't have to worry about them hopefully attacking us because of course we're not at war with them we are at war with these guys already obviously so if we encamped here no doubt they will attack us, you know, while we're doing that, and it won't give us much time to, uh, to you know, to settle and to regroup, basically. But over here, we would. So I may do that. I may, I may either split the forces, one go north, one go east, or we both go east straight into Sicily. I'm not too sure yet. Probably the latter. Um, but obviously, we got this huge amount of income from Theodora in the previous episode. A mighty gift. From Theodora for helping her against Justinian with the Ostrogothic Kingdom. So we should use that money wisely. In terms of military with the companions, a full 20 stack army here. We're looking fine there. And with these guys, the watchmen, yes, we do need to build up this army and get it into a stronger position very quickly. We've also got this building we could go for recruiting tents, which will then allow, allow us to recruit better units within the Watchmen because we can't recruit the, sim the same units as we can within the Companions. They can recruit better units. So I'm going to go for that. May as well now we've got the money to do so. And as well, first thing I'm going to force march. No, I'm not going to force march them because I want them to encamp actually. So I'm going to just bring them across the road here, across the North African coastline there, and then we can begin our, our adventure eastward to the Sardinians over there, get rid of them as our first objective, so we'll encamp them back as they were before. But I'm very tempted now, with the money we've got, to probably raise that third army as a very small army, probably a scouting army more than anything at the moment, but raise them nevertheless. And I think, you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to raise the force right now. I'm going to, oh no, we can't, why can't we? Oh, right, okay, we can't do it because we haven't got enough surplus population, I didn't realise that, because I suppose the horde mechanics, for me, are quite new, I haven't really played with a horde style faction before, so we can't raise them then, because of our population surplus, right, okay, we have to then stay with what we've got so far with the two armies, fair enough, okay, we can spend the money elsewhere, so we'll wait for this recruiting tent to be built and then we'll invest into some better units within the Watchmen. I'm not going to waste money with the units we can get at the moment. Technology wise we are going for Federati Forces which will give us a charge bonus and the fatigue rate drop but I'm going to go for this one next because this will actually replace the Equites Promoti which we've actually just recently got. We, I think they were they replaced the Federati Cavalry but we can also replace them in five turns time or seven turns once the other technology is finished we can get Tagmata Cavalry, which are probably better indeed than the Equites Promoti. I've heard good things about the Tagmata Cavalry. I think they've been 
nerfed a little bit in the recent patches, but they're pretty good nevertheless. So we'll go for them. We'll go for that technology after that. Try and improve our military yet again. Definitely. However, let's crack on. So we're not going to spend any more money. We're going to get some more income during the end turn phase. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. We'll move our, actually move our spy across. See what he can do. He's becoming quite a useful adversary at the moment. He's got three stars to his name. He's looking good. Looking in good shape, <laughs> you know. So we'll end the turn. Anyway. But um, apparently... Oh, here goes the Vandalic Kingdom. Probably our last move of the last throw of the dice. A suicide move. There we go. They've been taken out. Finished. Game over. Oh, another force here. Looks like they're coming. Oh, hello. A rebuke from Justinian. Right, this, this is obviously the backlash of him finding out about our little deal with Theodore, which obviously gave us that income boost. In, yeah, that, uh, indeed, yeah, that was it, the income boost. You have failed me, Balasarius. Balasarius, get it right. I do not know whether your metal, your loyalty, or your ambition was at fault, but I'm disappointed. You have always been my trusted servant, and your ability to carry out my orders is essential to the success of this endeavour. However, I do not need to punish you. If you remain committed, the shame will be great enough to ensure you do not fail me again. If, on the other hand, you have lost your love for the Empire, then my en enemies will met, a met, met, met out punishment on the battlefield. I am watching you, Balasarius. Indeed, really. Okay, so what have we lost? We've lost control. Minus one for 20 turns. It's not great, but the Dominion will make the power remain balanced. If we do lose control, the Dominion, as I say, will still make this power bar pretty 50-50, which was okay. We can deal with that. What else is he uh, told us? So, political repercussions. So, minus 10 towards the Roman Empire, faction-wide, for 50 turns. Right, let's have a look at this then. So our <coughs> our sort of attitude is now deteriorating because there you can see cultural aversion, which is what that is representing, is minus 10. And that will stay there for 50 flaming turns. God. Well, hopefully it don't it won't deteriorate for or hopefully it won't cause too much of a deterioration as I say, and we should be able to hold our own with them for a lot longer. Let's hope the yeah. Let's hope our relationship doesn't go too much downhill. It shouldn't be. It's not too much of a deterioration, but it's not great. And what did he say as well? He said something else, didn't he? Attitude minus ten with the Ostrogothic Kingdom. Well, sod that. I'm going to go to war with them soon, so uh, I'm not really bothered about that one. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to take this army down ourselves because there's no supporting army except for that one down there. But they seem to be going south. Don't know why, but they've gone south for some reason. So we're going to have to take these Sardinians out ourselves. But yes, Justinian is peed. He's not a happy man. He's got word of Theodora and his little, his little deal with me, and he's not a happy man. I think this is what this... The nature of this campaign is going to be a lot like this throughout. You know, we're going to be having to balance our our loyalties with not only Theodora, Justinian, but also, obviously, our own wife, Antonia. So it's going to be a hard, uh, hard political mind game, to be honest with you, by the looks of things. We have to be, we have to remain vigilant, most definitely. So and camp again. And it's another turn, guys. But look at that, 1,500 gold per turn now. So that's really good to see. Really, really good to see. Didn't see the message about the Vandalic Kingdom. Oh, looks like the Roman Empire are taking the fight to the Sardinians. Sardinians. Right, okay, faction destroyed. Fantastic, that's them gone. Development, yes. Federati forces, yes, dumb. So we'll go for the Eastern Heavy Cavalry Taxes. Which will give us that Tagmatic Cavalry in five turns time. So, let's move forward now. Bit by bit we shall get there. And we shall give the Spy a little opportunity to try and misdirect the army if he can. 
They realise what's at stake here. They've fortified themselves, ready for the upcoming battle. They know we're hunting them down. Success! Well done. So that will should hopefully... Minus 50 to the movement range. Excellent. So yeah, I think they realise that we're, we're moving in on them. So they've fortified up. However, we shall be there in one more turn's time. Okay, sorry about these quick turns, but we have to get over there as quickly as we can. So we'll increase his uh, zeal and his uh, minus 20% chance of being detected. Um, oh, 20% chance of stopping target. Deceive action. Right, we'll go for that. Sounds good to me. So another turn to go through here, then we shall pick up the pace with a battle, hopefully. Unless the Roman Empire get there first. Oh, yes, hello. This could be an almighty clash. I don't think they've actually engaged. No, they haven't. This is going to be pretty good. Which I think this will be the first battle we've actually teamed up with the um, Roman Empire, actually. This should be pretty good. Despite the best attempt, our agent has been discovered by another faction. Okay, well, I think we should be all right. Now, we're going to take the companions in for this battle. Because these chaps have just had their recruiting tent built. So we may as well start hiring the men we want. So let's go for a unit of Proventores. And another unit of Equites Promotai. Because then obviously in four turns time we'll get the Tagmata Cavalry. Which will upgrade these as well. So let's... Can we actually initiate the battle? We can. We can indeed. Here we go. Let's attack the faction king. This should be a great battle. It will be absolute bloodbath for the Sardinians. Oh, they've actually... <laughs> they thought better of it. Can we attack these? No, we can't. Um, are they going to be in the actual... I don't think they will be, actually. Right, okay, fine. Cancel those two recruitments for the second. We need to use the Watchmen now. We need to use good old John the Armenian. So we'll be able to definitely take them down now. Okay, let's... <laughs> um... Oh, come on. Let's have a battle. <laughs> I want to see this one. I want to see the bloodshed. I want to see the fall of the next Sardinian King. We've already killed one of them off around this area a few episodes ago. Let's take this one out now as well and see firsthand the utter annihilation of the Brothers in Arms. So they've got two Germanic warbands, but I don't think the warbands, I think they've been nerfed a little bit actually in the recent patches because axe units don't seem to be as powerful as they were a few, a few patches ago. So uh, they seem to have been definitely reduced a little bit in terms of effectiveness now. Um, we seem to be able to go through them quite quickly when, when uh, before they used to have really high damage rates. If you guys can confirm that, let me know in the comments. I do love Johnny I mean, He's probably my hero, actually. Not like all-time hero, obviously, but like in this campaign, he's really proved himself to be quite a worthy adversary. And probably, I think, of it, I look up to him more than Balasarius then. I could say Balasarius then. Uh, Balasarius, I look up to him more, I think, actually. Good old John. He's so loyal to my army as well. He's a 10 out of 10 for that, so pretty good. I don't know why I'm grouping the artillery. Don't break formation indeed. Discipline to the end. Move in. Pick up the pace now. We shall. And the reinforcements have arrived right on cue. Look, friendly banners. Ah, the Roman Empire here. Yeah, I was thinking about it today, actually, when I was driving home in the car. You know, God, I lived a life, don't I? Driving home in the car, I'm thinking about YouTube. But, uh, which is usually the case, because you constantly think about YouTube when you're a YouTuber. But, um, I was thinking about it. It's probably when we get to Roma, the great city of Rome, and we get to the point where we're about to either take it or have a battle there or a siege there, I will then give you guys the opportunity for another revote. At that point, I'll say, right, okay, we're here at Roma. If I take this city, 
do you want me to enter declare my independence against the Roman Empire or do you want me to remain an expeditionary force? So I'll give you that chance to re-vote at that point because a lot of people said when I initially did the vote in part one, um, you know, be an expedition force until you get to Rome and then break off and declare your independence and try and seize the great eternal city in the name of Balisarius. So I'll give you guys to say the opportunity to do that. Uh, when we do get to that point, which shouldn't be too long away, it should be about, I'd say, about 10 episodes probably away, or maybe a bit less than that. I don't know, depends how we do. We're making good progress, as I say. The pace of this campaign is going along nicely, so it may be even quicker than that. Oh, they're going to rush me here if I'm not careful. Uh, yeah, pull back actually. Get, let the. Get a volley off. Get a volley off, get a volley off. Right, pull back now. Because they're coming at some speed here. Oh, I don't know. I thought I... I thought I put my spears and my swords... You know, alternate... 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 Oh, my God. Alternating. There we go. I thought I was putting my units... You know, spear, sword, spear, sword. But it seems to be all three spear on the left and all three or four... Swords on the right, I don't know why. Never mind. Okay, let's bring the cavalry in. Go for that unit of mounted brigands. Roman Empire coming along quickly and now they're doing relative good relatively well with the pace, so uh, should be over here in a second. Okay, I think we probably took our cavalry a bit too far out there, but then but never mind. Never mind. We're holding our line pretty well, actually, thinking about it. No, go for them. Go for those light Moorish calf. Right, these are going to be pinned down in a second. Come on, come on. Pin them down. Great. Unitas. Yeah, Equitas promoted. Go for a charge in the rear of these Vandal horsemen. Medium melee calf against heavy melee calf. Hopefully the sword's going to hit out with this charge pin him down oh yes crippling charge hopefully oh god this is a sandwich right let's bring these spears around to flank now doing okay here yeah they've done alright there they've held their own not lost too many men. Germanic bows should be taken down now. In fact, no, go for a charge against them. We've got the other cavalry going to take the skirmishes out. Oh, lovely. General's in the mix there. We should be able to get a good shot against him. No, no, no. Skirmishes. Don't go for our own men. Oh, that's going to be devastating against those unit of cav there. That volley. No, oh, here comes the uh, cav to sweep up the mess now. Get these Germanic warband down. General's dead. Oh, devastating. Devastating. Pin him down, left, right, and centre. These Sardinians will be sardines tonight. <laughs> That's terrible. That is a terrible joke. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. Don't go for those units. Oh, my lord. The friendly fire is atrocious, probably, on this one. The Roman Empire didn't have to fight. I did all the bloody work. Never mind. At least we gained the victory. At least we can uh, claim we did all the, uh, the hard grafting with this one. Okay, let's just quickly fast forward to get rid of these two units here. But, in fact, we'll end the battle because they can't retreat. They've got got no movement points. So we lost 333 men. They lost 14-14. So that should be, as I say, them gone because they can't retreat. All movement points spent. And down they fall. Okay, take on the warriors.
Would that I were as swift as the angels. And why have you said he moved away from it all? Your command. You little cheeky monkey. Ready for right, orders. okay, well... We'll try and track them down next turn. Um, right, we'll go and recruit these two units we're going to go to do anyway, so... Do it now as we've got the time. Can we actually build anything again? No, I don't think we can. We haven't got the technology or the population surplus to do it, so... Uh, we need to research pretty quick, actually. Uh, what's I say? Yeah, you cannot do this because you haven't got seven population surplus. Right, okay, fair enough. Let's see what the Sardinians do during the intern phase. Driven back, and then, yeah, game over. Thank you very much, Sardinians. It was nice seeing you. All the best. Cheerio. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. Path blocked. Path blocked. Agent exposed. Right, okay. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. We begin our adventure, I think, to Sicily. I think that's the right move to do. However, I did... Apparently, I was going to say this at the beginning, but I think I got interrupted by something. Uh, I was listening to people or reading the comments that you said in the last part because I asked about the moors. Where will they spawn and I believe apparently it's down here where Belisarius spawned at the beginning of the campaign so that is something we've got to be mindful of maybe the Roman Empire can deal with them on their own but it could be very hard there's four armies I believe that actually spawn so we may have to pull an army back at some point to have to try and support the Roman Empire in Africa but we can't just wait around for them we've got to push on We've got to push on, so let's get ourselves ready. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, it's too late now. Oh, no, we can do it still. Because we'll be taken to the sea there, won't we? Put them there as well. We won't go into sea yet. We'll go next turn. So we'll just encamp them just for one more turn. And then we'll launch ourselves across. Quick, quick row them across. To that beach there, get them onto the land, encamp them again, just regroup as I say, and then we'll move on the Ashrogothic Kingdom and begin our war to reclaim back Italy for the glory of Rome. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I think they, no, they just pushed them back. I thought they wiped them out then, that unit of, or that Roman Empire fleet there. Yeah, we know about this agent being exposed. We've gathered that before. He's going to start his little adventure across to uh, the Ostrogothic Kingdom in a second as well. Thanks for the scouting, um, Mr. Roman Empire. Oh, it's actually Justinian. Oh, hello. Are you doing me a bit of a favour there by telling me what awaits me in Sicily? Well, to be honest with you, Ag Agrimentium, not much. So we should be okay. Is it Agrimentium? Agrigentum. There we go. Pronounce it right. God, it takes all our moving points up to get into the sea, doesn't it? To the pain. We're going to have to do this bit by bit because if we take both fleets into the sea, we'll get a massive penalty to our money. So we may as well get one fleet over, which will be the Watchmen first. They establish themselves in it in Sicily. Then we'll get the companions over the next turn. Oh, flipping it, minus 145. Well, not too bad, I suppose. We can live with that. And then we'll go across in a second with the companions after that. I think this is all brewing up nicely for an almighty clash in Italy. I mean, the Roman Empire, they're doing a fantastic job against the Sardinians without me having to get involved. So if that remains the case, then fair enough. Oh. Right. This is one of those bloody events that happened with this big, huge volcano. Look at the interface. Look at the... Oh my god, the skies have darkened during this year. A most dread portent took place. For the sun gave forth its light without brightness, and it seemed exceedingly like the sun in eclipse. 
for the beams it shared were not clear. Dark times are upon us, the earth has withered and blackened, the crops have failed, and the priests speak of damnation. Has the Lord forsaken his kingdom? No, there's been a volcanic eruption, that's what's happened, my friend. It was pretty bad, I believe, at the time. So, we've got the bonus objectives, we've completed our first mission, which was to survive to, to, which was to, survive to 535 AD, which we've done. We completed two of the bonus objectives, so we get a nice little handy boost to the old economy there, which we need. Term of office, John the Armenian has completed, so we can go for a high one with him. Missing issued. Survives on the following date, spring 537. Fair enough. Oh, not again. What do you want now, woman? My husband, I have some wonderful news for the both of us. You know what great friends I am with the Empress, Theodore. Yes, I do. We met back in our theatre days. Yes, when you were both hookers. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, hookers, sorry. She was quite scandalous, I can tell you. Oh, I bet you were as well. Don't you put all the blame on old Theodora. While well, she has decided to come and stay with me for a while. Aye, aye. Your campaigns have impressed so, so many here in Constantinople that it's become... So it's uh, with the that it's become quite fashionable to spend time with me. You're making the poor emperor quite jealous, though. So perhaps lose a few battles to make him feel better. For God's sake! So mission will be soon issued. That's the brunt of it. For Christ's sake! Watchmen are now receiving famine. Rank gained for Balasarius. Oh God! Much has much has happened. We can hardly see the campaign map now because of the volcanic eruption. Oh, I can't cope with all this, it's too much. This uh, campaign has suddenly got uh, quite uh, interesting. Yeah, we'll go for the old... Uh, yeah, we'll go for the replenishment, shall we? And food. Right, it's time to move. Get yourselves over there ASAP. Go, John, go. So one more turn and you shall be there. We must rest a while. Okay. Well, one more turn before we can increase or upgrade our cavalry to Tagmada Calf. And I was just going to do something else. Oh, yes. Term of office. He's completed anti Joel John. So he can't go from Imperial Master of Foot. Oh, he's not 28, is he? Oh, he's 25, so he's actually... He's actually going with the ranks quicker than our masters of office allow us. Oh, that's big. Oh, God's sake. Probably if I looked at the right bloody general, it would help. Right, okay, so we can get it now. Master of foot. Personal influence, plus two. Unit experience, plus three. And recruitment cost. Fantastic. Tribunus of, of Aginopoli. Yes. Who? I'm, I'm confused. What? Oh! Hey? I'm, I'm really confused. When did this army come into play? Huh? When did I get this army? Oh, is this. Oh! Wasn't this the army that Theodora gave to us about two episodes ago? And I've just left them there in the sea for about ten turns now. Oh my god, that's a 20 stack army! For the love of god! <laughs> right, okay, that is a complete and utter warrior spot to fail there. But at the same time, an amazing find that we've got them now. That is going to help our military cause so much. I, you know, I said I wanted a third army and I've got him. A full 20 stack army ready to go. And I've just increased them to Equites Promotai. So, have I just missed something here? Where the hell did he come from? Was it from this? Oh, God knows. If you know, guys, let me know in the comments because I'm... I do not know. Is that our son as well? That's our adopt... No, that is our adopted son. Theodosius. Well, it's a shame because I wanted him probably more than Tribunus, but uh, we can't do anything about it now. But, yeah. Wow. Okay. Grand. That's grand, that is that. 
Okie dokie, that is a huge fail, I can't believe it. Maybe it does come, if it does come then fair enough. But if, uh, if they haven't, if they've been there for like literally about 5 or 10 turns, that is a, just an absolute joke that I missed them, but never mind. Okay, so that's that army. Oh, we can increase this. Oh no, no, food consumption, integrity and tax rate, no thanks. We'll leave that for the moment. Right, okay, let's do it. Let's end the turn one more time, chaps. One more time. And then we'll move into the uh, island of Sicily. The land... Oh, what's it? Land ahoy. We see land, Captain. Oh, we've killed the spy, I think. <laughs> Don't try and take Balasarius on. You will fall. Very quickly. Right, okay, much more attention is required. Hot yeah, critical failure, he's died. That's pretty critical. Famine, yes, we know. Mission issued. Oh, my God. Raid the following region. Turns remaining eight. Reinforcing army dispatched. Reputation damage. Where in God's... That's over on the left coast, isn't it? Left hand is over here, that isn't it? Office secured John. Right, good. Oh, we've got the research done. Oh, lots of things kicking off now, ladies and gentlemen. Where is... Where is that bloody region? Okay, let's go into the objectives. Um, I'm sure that's over here. It's... it's the, oh, I don't want to go to the war. I don't, I don't want to go to war with the Berbers. What concerns me is the fact that she's given us that ish, that mission. And is that reinforcing army the one you're talking about? Or is that going to be the other one? Right, okay. Big decision for you guys in the chat here. Do I leave Balasarius here, take him back west to take on the Berbers at, um, at Cicerario, whatever you pronounce it? And. Obviously, make Antonia happy. And will it mean that I'll lose that army? Or will that be in a separate army I get? Let me know what you want me to do. But obviously, I'm, I'm then very grateful I've got this third army now. Because it means I can attack Sicily without the worry of having too little forces to take them on. But let me know what you want me to do with that mission. Do you want me to take it and do it? Or do you want me to fail it? Give me your suggestions if you would please, guys. Now we'll go for normal stance now. Get off the boat. Oh, come on. Seriously. I need to get an army off there. That's it. They're on. They're on. They're on the shore. Retrain them. Oh, look at that tagmatic cavalry. Awesome stuff. Right, let's, let's straight away in camp. But we're starting to lose a little bit of money now. So I'm a little bit... Worried. Let's get them off the boat. Come on. Let's get them off the boat. What does Rome require? Oh, much is kicking off now, chaps. Much is to do. Much to do. Let's go for something in the civic technology tree to get ourselves some money back. Okay, go for that one. Wow, this, this has become quite an interesting campaign all of a sudden. Much decisions to be making here. Right, we'll end the turn again. One more turn. We'll try and have another couple of battles in here before we wrap up the part. Against the Ostrogothic Kingdom. I'll begin our war with them. Sardinians, what are they up to? Nothing. I don't want to go too far. This is the last time I'll do the end turn because obviously I need to make sure I try and, if, I, if, they, if you want me to, go across to uh, take on the old uh, Berbers. Yep, yep, yep. I know, we, I know we've got farming. I know we've got farming. Let's quickly check that. So, we're actually still having this farming because of the... It must be because of this event that's kicking off. Okay, it's just because of the rivalry. Let's split them up now, then. Let's split them up and get them over to separate parts of the island. Let's see what's awaits us here. Nothing. Right, okay. Time has come to begin 
the assault against your Arthur Gothic kingdom. You can scout ahead. I mean, it may be that I have to just get rid of some of these units in this Brothers in Arms, this, this second Brothers in Arms. In fact, we can't have that. No, have we got, no, we haven't got a Brothers in Arms, have we? I was thinking the Companions were called a Brothers in Arms as well. Yeah, I mean, do you want me to get... I'll probably have, no, I'll probably have to get some of, the, some of these units and disband them because I think that's what's eating into my food as well at the same time. Ready for battle. But nevertheless, we'll do that next episode. So they shall attack there and these sh shall attack here now. Let's declare the war. Let's tell them the good news. War I is, uh, war is beginning with you. Mad. Join me. Ah, is the Gothic Kingdom have joined them? Alright, okay. Let's hope they don't start launching uh, fleets across towards me. This should be a walk in the park, it is. Can you want to resolve that one? God, this has suddenly gone a very dark campaign map, hasn't it? <laughs> I don't know how long this event will last for with the uh, volcanic eruption. Probably a long time, because I think in history they did, or the... Volcanic eruption did cause a number of years of uh, this sort of situation where the skies were blackened and agriculture and f food was very bad. So it could be the case with this one. But nevertheless, we must carry on. Right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the part here. I'm not going to uh, retrain these guys to Tagmata Cav at the moment because the uh, treasury won't support it. But... I hope you've enjoyed the part. It hasn't been too much action on the battle map, but on the campaign map, yes, there has been advancements. There has been uh, a lot of events kicking off. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you want me to do with Antonio's request. Do you want me to go westward, take on the Berbers and uh, claim the victory for her, or should I ignore it? Let me know below. But as I say, will that mean if I fail her, I lose this army? Or, by the way, if not, do you know where this army came from? Let me know either way in the comments below. But I hope you've enjoyed, as I say, nevertheless. If you have, you know what to do. Drop it a like. And I shall be back very soon with another part. Right, Visigothic Kingdom encountered, war declared. And so we gained artist and rank gained. Fantastic. Right, okay, thank you very much, guys. As I say, drop a like if you've enjoyed it. I shall be back very soon with another part. But until then, this is Wally Spotter for now saying farewell. I can't see, it's too black.